Hello, good morning. <laughs> okay, I think I can. Uh, I think we're up and running now. Slight technical difficulties. Um, yeah, let's see who's watching. Is anybody watching? If you are, if you can hear and see me, please put a comment on there just to make sure it's working okay. Seeing that my laptop wasn't working too good. Okay, so welcome to the uh, Strength and Balance class. Our first Strength and Balance class live, as you can tell. Uh, me making uh, some problems with this computer. Okay, so uh, my name's Lee. I work for the Health and Wellbeing Service Buzz Pars. And uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, ah, we've got someone. Yes, yeah, yeah, I am working all right. Hi, Paul. Hi, Janet. Okay, so I am working all right. I'm not great with technology, so apologies in advance, as you can probably tell. Um, so today's class is going to be about 20 to 30 minutes, similar to what we do already in our classes um, with Eric and um, Ruby and the rest of the team. Um, so yeah, um, obviously we'll need a chair and something to hold on to. Um, you'll need a couple of tea towels, some bands. Obviously make sure you've got a drink. Um, and yeah, enjoy it. So let's have a quick nosy. Yep, make sure. Good, good, good. Right, um, so yeah, let's get started, I suppose. Um, right, warm up. Warm up, warm up. So we've got to do a lot of it on the chair. You can do standing as well. So warm up, we've just got to start with a mobility exercise. Nice and easy, just mobilizing them joints. See, now it's so cold in this garage. <laughs> Okay, so nice and easy. I'll move back a little bit. Hopefully you can see my feet. So from there, we're just gonna start off with a heel tap. Just start with your ankles, mobilizing them ankle joints. Just nice and easy. Now, when you're obviously sat in the chair, just think of your posture. I'll be moving around quite a lot and throwing these chairs around a little bit. So don't copy me on that way. Just stay in your chair or stay standing close to the chair. Um, so yeah, just nice and easy heel tap, okay? And then from there, we're going to go to the side, side step. Just nice and gentle like that. Just move this chair back a bit and see my feet. So side step. Again, if you want to do it standing, it would be just nice and easy heel tap like this. Good posture. That's it. And I'll step to the side. So that's the standing version, but most of it we've done sat down today. So nice and easy side step, side step, side step like that. Okie dokie, brilliant. Okay, so another ankle mobiliser. Nice and easy, we're just going to do toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Nice and easy, just one side first. So when you when you sat down, make sure you're not like this. Good posture, yep. Toe, heel, let's switch and do the other leg. Toe, heel, toe, heel. That's it, nice and easy. Just about 10 of them, just mobilising. Okay, so from there now, hip joints, just mobilising them hips. Yep, seated version as you know. Or, close to the chair, standing. So the benefits of it, doing this class, it's improving your strength and your balance as well. So chairs there if you need to hold on to or anything like that. But nice and easy, just do it from here. Feel them little muscles in your hips working, call your hip flexors. Good posture, just mobilising. Nice and easy first. Yep. Okay, moving into the lower back and trunk area. So, nice and tall. Open up. Yep, see this area? Don't crush this area. Just go side bend. Side bend. Legs nice and wide as well. Use your breathing. Breathing through your nose, through your mouth. Brilliant. See a few comments coming on. It's a shame the laptop's not working. Can't see that far from there. Lovely. So that's a bit of lower back work, especially being sat down. Yeah, so mobilizing lower back. This one, just gonna do some trunk twists. Back to the middle, trunk twists. Do 10 times. Use your breathing. I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit quick. Just slow it down. Trunk twists. 
Okay, so from there, next one, shoulders. So stay where you are. Shoulders up, down and round and backwards. Big shoulder rolls. Again, if you're like me, you've been on the computer, you tend to roll forward like this. Open up your chest, engage your stomach muscles. Roll them shoulders up, down and round. Give me five more. Just gonna have a look who's on. Ah, Svetlana. Steve-O as well. Brilliant, good. So open up them shoulders. Again, you can do it standing, but I'm emphasizing more the sat down version today, just to be safe as well, because it's our first class. Strength and balance, we don't want anyone falling. Okay, nice and easy. From there, we're just gonna mobilize our wrists. Yeah, change. Yeah, and then just our neck area. Yeah, so from there, just look into the ceiling, chin on chest, look into the ceiling, Chin on chest. Just be careful you don't lose your balance on this one. Just look into the left, middle, right, middle. Okay, so that's pretty much mobilizing up. Yeah, especially if it's a bit chilly and stuff. Next one, we're gonna do a little bit of a pulse raise and get the heart rate up a little bit more. Again, you can do it standing, I'm just doing it sat down. So from here, just doing a nice and easy, bring them knees up. You can do just legs if you want. So a pulse raiser. Get the heart rate up a little bit more. So you can do legs or you can incorporate arms as well. Okay, give me 20 seconds of this. Yep, make sure you're breathing through your nose, out through your mouth, side on. Posture shouldn't be rounding off like this. Like this. That's it, brilliant. Use that breathing. Standing like that. Lovely. Okay. Last few, and I'm relaxed. Okay, a little bit of coordination, motor skills. So from there, side step, side step, you can do just your legs only. Or you can incorporate your arms. And I'll go for about 20 to 30 seconds. So again, just legs only. Just do what you can. Yeah, incorporate arms if you need to. And if you want to work your coordination and your balance, opposite arm, opposite leg. Yeah, so people who do this class come with a wide range of medical conditions. People like you've got MS, neurological conditions, um, just falls, risks of um, falling. So, something for everyone really. Okay, so bringing it back to the basics from there, just legs. Adding arms, same side. Yeah, or opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, have a bit of a breather. So that should set your heart rate up a little bit more. Okay, um, next one. Get our brain working a little bit, especially this time in the morning. It's still a bit early, really. I'll come a bit closer so you can see me. Yeah. So from there, nice and easy. Um, we're going to screw the light bulb and pat the dog. Okay. And you can keep your legs moving at the same time if you want to keep your heart rate up. So from there, put the light bulb in and then give the dog a pat. So you're working loads of different motor skills here, coordination. It's waking up that brain. Yeah. So screw and pat and move your legs at the same time. It's quite tricky for me that. Let's go on the other side. So just to get your mind working, screw the light bulb. Pat the dog. Or just do one. Add this if you need to. And then move your legs at the same time. That'll wake you up, won't it? Yeah. Okay, and relax. Next one from here, even finer motor skills. Again, if you've had a stroke or anything, you're trying to get this other hand working or any sort of neurological conditions. So I'm going from here, thumb. I'm going out like this. I'm coming in. Yeah. Don't worry if you can only do one hand, that's great. Yeah, just getting your brain working a little bit. Just give your hands a little bit of a shake. Right, so we've warmed up, we've done a bit of a pulse raiser, we've warmed our brain up a little bit. Okay, we're going to start with the balance exercises, then the strength exercises, and then finish with a bit of a stretch and stuff. Okay, so balance exercises, there's four exercises or balance techniques we're going to do. And the first one is called knee bends. The benefits of knee bends is to help you get in and out of the chair, or on off the toilet, in and out the bath in and out of the car, and it will strengthen your knees and your hips, 
and help you with a little bit of balance as well in this movement. So, um, again, I did say I'll be throwing these chairs around a little bit. Don't want you to throw the chairs around. Stay where you are. Just want to make sure you can see me okay. So, you've got support on either side. So, um, take you back to the 80s, Eddie the Eagle, from here. Imagine you're going down a ski slope. Bend your knees. Yeah, engage your stomach muscles, engage your core. Stay where you are. So, from there, like this. This is a standard version first, if you need to. Yeah. And then just holding that position. The chair version. Yeah. We're going to do 10 seconds, so just stay where you are. See, uh, seated version is, is like you're coming out of the chair, but then you change your mind. Side on, it looks like this. I'm going here. Good night, natural curve and lower back. And I'm going to lift, and then I change my mind. So pick your position. Either seated or standing for 10 seconds. And it's called knee bends. So that's quite a lot, quite quick, but I'm conscious of time. So from here, I'm gonna do a standing one on this. So bend your knees, engage your stomach. Supports are here, your stabilizers are here if you need to. Yeah, 10 seconds, you might take one hand away, one fingertip, and engage your stomach and balance. Seated version while we're holding out is here, engage that core and balance. You really feel this on the knees. Yeah. Okay, and relax. That's it. Sit back, just chill for a minute. Okay, so that's called knee bends. That's number one exercise. Okay, what did you think of that? Was that hard? Let me see. Let me slow you down a little bit. And I'll go pretty quick. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, next one is heel toe stand. I'll show you the seated version this time. And I'll show you the standing and then we'll do it together. Okay, so I'm going to walk your bum towards the end of your chair. Bring one leg in front. Bring it right back here so you can see. Good version here. Yes. So, good posture. Right near the edge of the chair but not hanging off it. Make sure them legs don't come up. Yep. Side on. Good posture. No rounding off. One leg in front of the other. And balance. Yep. Make sure you can grab something if you need to. Like this is here if you need it. And balance. So you can still do it seated. Show the standing version and then we'll do it together. So one leg in front. Just like this. Okay. Pick your position, whichever you want you want. Let's go for 10 seconds on each side. So 10 seconds. Let's go. Make sure you use your breathing. Look right ahead of you. Don't look at your toes. Look right ahead. Okay. And change the other leg, the other side. So from there, balance. Heel toe stand. Some people call this one tandem stance as well, actually. Okay. 10 seconds. That's done. What did you think of that one? So the benefits of that one is, again, when we're walking, that we improve our balance, yeah? Because that's the walking action. So from here, I'm like this, and it's improving your balance as you're walking. Okay, but obviously this is what we call a static balance, we're holding it. Okay. Next one, one leg stand. So this one's good for helping you with balance um, when you're stepping onto a curb, going up stairs and stuff like that really. So I'll show you a standard version. From here, one leg up, engaging your stomach muscles, working that hip flexor, side on it looks like this. Yeah, engaging that. Seated version, and then we'll do it together. So from there, yeah, one leg stand this is called. Let me have a look, see if there's any questions or anything at all. Ah, good morning Peter. Morning Gaz. Okay, right. Right, cool. One leg stand, let's do it. I'll show you a standard version. Okay, from here, nice and easy. Bring one leg up. 90 degree, don't bring it any higher than the hip. Yep, and don't bring it across the groin. Online, 10 seconds, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, and relax. So again, stay sat on the chair if that's where you're doing the whole class on the chair. Don't be up and down like me. Yeah. Let's do the other side. Bring the leg up. Ten seconds. Let's hold it. If you are standing and doing a bit of sit, sit and standing, make sure you're pumping your legs so your blood pressure doesn't drop as well. Just be careful of, of the transitions you're doing. No falling. That's it. Last three. Last two. Last one. And relax. Good, good, good. Right. Just chill for a minute. So where you should be feeling that is in the hip area, in that little muscle called your hip flexors, strengthening your hip up, so that when you are walking, that you pick your leg up, yeah? So you're not dragging your heels, get your foot trapped on a curb, yeah, you're picking them legs up, okay? So that's called one leg stand, uh, one leg, yeah, one leg stand, sorry. And you're holding it. You wanna build up to about 30 seconds on that one. Okay, next one is exactly the same. So the previous three exercises we've just done were called static balances. The next one we're doing is dynamic. And the only difference is, is, is that we're moving and we're challenging our balance a little bit more. So I'll show you a seated version first, then the standing, and then we'll pick whichever one you want and we'll do it together. So it's like I'm bringing my knee up, I'm bringing it down, but I'm not rocking my back. You can do it on the side like this. Yeah. It's a seated and standing version is like this. One leg stand into a swing to make it dynamic. Okay, pick your position, seated or standing. Be careful, let's do it together, 10 on each side. So from there, use your breathing. Don't lose your natural curve on your lower back. Up, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Yep. Should really feel that in the hip area. And then challenge your balance. So two hands to one hand to one fingertip to no hands if you can, if you're safe. Change, let's go to the other side. So be careful with the positions as well. So from here, the other leg up, 90 degrees, brush that foot across the floor. Some people call this flamingo swing as well. Use that breathing. Yeah, so you can have two hands on. Okay, and relax. That's the last one of uh, strength. Uh, sorry, the last one of balance. Okay, next one is strength. I think we need some music as well. So we'll put a bit of Neil Diamond on for the next one. It's a bit quiet. I'm not used to the quietness. Okay, right. A little bit of Neil Diamond in the background. Hopefully you still can hear me. Okay, so this is where our bands come in now. Okay, so the first one. Is a bit of a hip strength, uh, strengthener, strengthen up them hips. So wrap the band round if you've got one, like this. Yeah. Don't worry if you've not got the band, I'll show you without the band. Okay, we're pushing against. It's called hip abductor. So again, the benefits of that, of this, is to build up the muscle around the hip joint. That if you do fall on it, you've got a bit of protection, really. Okay, so let's go. Ten. Yeah. Push out. Most of you know this, you've been coming to my classes or any of the other staffers class. Push out, push out. Feel free to sing along to Neil Diamond. <laughs> yep, we've got to do three sets, quick sets. I've waffled on quite a lot already. Okay, and relax. I'll show you a side version of the bands from here. Same exercise, hip up, but uh, one set of ten. We're pushing out like this. Use your breathing, good stomach muscles. My posture was rubbish then. Correct your posture. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. 
one and relax good 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 trying to hit what we call failure at the end of the last one so you're really pushing against the outside and you can feel it in your hip and bum okay um next one we'll do is to strengthen the wrists yeah again here's one um if we do fall on that you know it can increase the fracture risk and stuff so to strengthen your wrist to work your chest and your shoulders Okay, so I'll move you a little bit. There we are. Okay, nice and easy from here. Just pick a wall. So just do a wall press. I'll show you the option on the chair, so don't jump off the chair yet. Yeah, yeah, that's the wall press. The other option is with the band. Nice and easy, push out and pushing back. So pick your choice of which one you want, seated or standing. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. We've got to do one more set. I'm going to show you standing. So you can just watch if you want. So from here, Hands on line with the chest. So do 10. Breathe out as you come away from the wall. Breathe in as you come in. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Good, 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 good. Okay, you should be feeling it's starting to feel a bit warmer like me now. I can take my jacket off, it's freezing in this garage. Okay, next one is go work on the wrist again. So this is where your tea towel comes in. Or if you want to work harder, a towel. So a tea towel or towel or band if you've got one. So from here, nice and easy like this. So we're going to work on your extensors and flexors there and just coming in and then back out. A bit, a bit loud down the hill today. In and back. Yep, yeah, see side on, the posture's still good. 10. Use your breathing. Really feel that on the wrists. Good. The functional aspect of it is, if you're trying to open up any medicine bottles or any jars or any kind of drinks bottles, you've got the grip strength, finger strength, helps with arthritis in your wrist and your fingers. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll go the opposite way. Good morning, Jane. Thanks for your comments. Definitely better with music, you're right, <laughs> for sure. Okay. Um, from here... So we've come in like that, we're going out this time now. Do give us a choice of some music for next week. I just picked Neil Diamond, but you might hate him, you might want a bit of Elvis or whoever. Let us know what you like. So I'm going out this time, the resistance on the way out. Yeah, on the way out. Way out. So you're ringing it out instead of ringing it in. Ring it out, give me 10. Lovely. And relax. And again, if you are lucky enough to have the band, there's, there's a lot more tension with the band. You can get these from eBay, Amazon. I think even some Asda's and stuff do it. There's with the band, as you know, which you've all probably been doing in the class. Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right, what else have I got on my list? So, leg press. Yeah, we'll miss that one out. Wrist strength. We'll do sit to stand because it is an important one again. So, from here, hip joints, tops of the legs, knee area. All that area we're hitting, I put myself side on. So walk to the edge of the chair. Everyone on this can sit down. You don't have to do it standing. So you're coming up and then back down. That's it. Let me just turn it down a bit. Okay, so from there, walk to the edge of the chair. Let's go for 10. Let's go 10. Nine. This time, slow on the way down. Don't rush it. Eight, slow, 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 slow. Seven. 
six, five, four, three. Make sure you're close to the chair. I'm a bit far away there, but make sure you're close to the chair as well. You know where it is. Last one. And relax. Good. Okay. That's the um, warm-up, balance, strength done. Last part, um, nice easy stretch. So from there we'll go stretch your hamstrings. Can everyone sit down for this. Nice and easy, lifting your toes up to the ceiling. Toes up to the ceiling. Feel that stretch on the back of your legs. And use your breathing. That's it. Let's change and do the other side, just so I can see. Yeah. Pull them toes up. Should feel this on the back of the knee, the calf area, the hamstring. About 20 seconds or so. Okay. Nice and easy. From there, we're just going to lean to one side. Feel a stretch on the waist. Lean to the other side. Okay, this time hold it now. 10 seconds. Back up to the middle, change, let's go over the other side. Okay, get rid of the adverts, sorry. <laughs> okay, from there I'm turning around, you can see actually on the t-shirt what it's doing to the muscles, the stretch, see? They are a bit of a king. Change, 10 seconds. Nice deep stretch for the lower back, that one. Really, really good. I could feel that myself. Okay, next one from there. Shoulders up, down, and round, and back. Big, deep stretch. Again, just see how you feel if you've had a stroke and you've got low tone with that arm. Just leave that arm out and just do the other arm. Yeah. Okay. And again, from here now, just bring one arm behind your back like this. I'm just having a bit of a stretch on the shoulder. So do what you can. Change. This side. Okay, arm up to the ceiling behind. Again, if you can't lift that arm up, you've had a stroke, just bring it to here. Or just hold it here like this. If not, try and go for your full range. Change. Let's do the other side. Grab that arm underneath. That's it. And relax. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, now we're pretty much done there. Um, how are we all feeling? Sorry if it was a little bit quick today. It was my first one online. Definitely prefer when there's people there. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching, really. And uh, we'll be posting again throughout the week. Um, thank you very much, everyone. Much appreciated.